So let me go more in depth in what I was talking about in the official episode. So I actually did read all of your guys' comments, it was positive and everything, but I hope you guys realize that I wasn't saying that I was quitting because the job is hard. I'm basically going to be quitting because I'm getting zero pay, besides training, but that pay is coming in uh, what, two weeks from now or something like that, and I don't have that much time. I already applied for another job, it's a general labor job, and it pays pretty well, it pays pretty well, and I think I could start next week if I get the job, so I'm going to apply for that, and if I get that job, then I'm going to go in and quit the job I'm at now. Don't get me wrong though, the job I'm at now, the gym, it is such a nice place to work. I wish I was able to make a steady income while working there, even if I have to work the front desk. I met a lot of people there, people are cool, they're starting to recognize me as one of the new trainers or just someone who's around the gym often. Uh, it's just cool, the co-workers are cool, uh, the vibe is just really chill, and I get to work out there for free. And I gotta speak on that, because I know some of you guys are wondering whether or not I worked out there or trained there, and let me tell you, yes I did. As a matter of fact, I trained legs there yesterday, because there was no way I was going to be able to go home and use the park. And when I got home, the park was basically filled up with kids, and you know, running around and it was just annoying. So I trained legs there and I tried to train it using calisthenics, but again, the gym is not calisthenics friendly, so I did use some machines. So I'll make a separate video explaining my experience of training at the gym, as well as training my back and everything. The gym isn't such a bad place after all, but calisthenics is still my number one. So with this general labor job, I basically get paid well, the hours I'm assuming is going to be 8 hours a day. So what that means for me is I'm actually able to come home or go to work uh, at around 2 o'clock in the afternoon which will give me time to do my YouTube stuff, reply to comments, because man, like I'm, I'm serious bro. I actually really love talking to you guys, like it sucks when it's not a part of my day anymore because you guys know me, I spent a lot of my time in the comment section and people think it's just to get subs, yes, commenting does help me get subs and that's one of the best ways to get subscribers, to let people know that you exist, but at the same time, I always, comment to, I always reply to you guys on my own videos also and I haven't been able to do that as much as I wanted to, just like I said, I read your guys comments in the previous video, in the, the official episode, but I didn't reply to you guys because I'm editing this video right now, I'm doing this commentary. After I do this commentary, I have to go eat, and then I have to go to work for 10 hours, then I have to come back, then I check my stats on YouTube and all that, and I basically run out of time to, to really talk to all of you guys as I would like to. So as you guys see in this video, I'm doing push day, and let me tell you, this was one of the best workouts I've ever did so far. One of the best workouts. Man, like I still feel kind of sore from this day, and I'm still contemplating whether or not I want to do a push day workout today, or do a rest today, and then do push pull legs. I think I may rest today, or I might, or you know what, I'll use the gym one last time if I might be quitting, so I'll, I'll train at the gym one last time, use a little bit of the machines, but I always start off with calisthenics, and then, you know, I'll probably just quit tomorrow if I get the job. As you guys know from the previous episode, I was actually, you know, feeling like I was losing my gains because I wasn't eating that much, I was losing strength, so I, f I don't know, I felt like I was getting smaller, but I got back on track right now. Actually, right now, I have to go eat, bro, because I gotta get the calories in, and I'm doing the commentary because I'm trying to get it out this morning before I leave out for work in the next two and a half hours. But yeah, I feel like my strength is coming back, my, my diet is getting more in check ever since I got that protein, right? The protein has been saving me recently or lately because, man, I was not getting that many calories without the protein shake. Yeah, I could get calories from food, but I wasn't having that, I wasn't having too many meals during the day, right? Especially when I go to work, so I'm snacking on Nutri-Grain bars, I'm snacking on some freaking macaroni and cheese. I used to have rice and chicken more often, well, during the first two days of work. But then, you know, I'm still trying to adjust to this bulking life. I don't know how you freaking bodybuilders do this, man. Like, you guys really go through this every day for life? Damn, I cannot do this. Like, I, I just cannot do this dieting stuff. I, I love being able to, to just eat as much as I want, 
while not having to lose energy or eat as much or as little as I want without losing so much energy. Because as I started the bulk, put it this way, before I wasn't eating as much but since I was training for strength, I wasn't really losing strength if that makes any sense. You guys remember the time when I wasn't working out for like weeks and I came back and I still hit that one arm pull up? Yeah, and now that I'm trying to bulk, I guess it's like my body's trying to feed off more of the energy to grow but there isn't that much energy and therefore I lose my freaking strength gains, I lose my gains in general. But then again, a lot of you guys been telling me that I'm getting bigger and most likely it's because I'm getting leaner as I lose the weight. If you guys notice here, look at my right shoulder, how it's dipped down to the, how it's dipped down lower than my left shoulder in the push-up. I don't know what's up, bro. So freaking muscle imbalance. By the way, guys, did you guys watch the Goku vs Superman 2 fight on Screw Attack? It's on YouTube. For those of you guys who don't know, I won't spoil it for you, but man, the ending was crazy, and I knew people were gonna get upset over it. I knew it. But the thing is, is what they said makes a lot of sense. For all you Goku fans, all you Superman fans, you know, whichever one you're a fan of, you're either going to be happy or sad. I'm a fan of one more than the other, but either outcome that would have happened, the way they explain it makes it make sense, right? By the way, I noticed that some of you guys noticed my freaking dick rubbing up against the bar. Y'all know this everything. You guys could notice a girl like 10 miles away and say, Hey Simon, you see that girl Myron? I'm like, what girl? Like look over there, like in this top right corner, that little speck of the screen. I'm like, what? Like you guys be watching so damn hard. But you know, that's the SOS family. You know, everybody, I got my detectives here, I got my investigators here. I even got some low-key haters in the in my subscriptions, you know? So it's whatever, man. Everybody playing their role. I still love all of you guys. You guys are freaking funny. I enjoy reading your guys' comments. It's just funny. It's like it's different, man. The YouTube world is different. After I upload episode 6 of Bodybuilding with Calisthenics, I think I got some pretty good videos coming for you guys that I think you guys are going to like. So I really hope you guys do stay tuned. And by the way, I just realized that if I do get this general labor job, which pays pretty well, it's not minimum wage, but it isn't like freaking life changing money. But at my age, it's pretty good money. Even with, the, even with the baby on the way, I'm still getting help. So with this type of money, guys, I could really upgrade this channel by the time I hit 10K subs because we hit 6K July 4th and we're about to hit 7K real soon anyway because the channel exploded ever since that vegan gains video. And speaking on vegan gains, uh, yeah, I mean, I, no, let me, let me shut up, let me just shut up and just, let's just let time pass and I think you guys are going to like what may be coming in the future, okay, but yeah, I love talking to you guys, I miss you guys so much, I gotta get ready to go to work, eat, and I'll talk to y'all next time, done.